a tribe or well maybe you can but you know you just can't put in a people that yo these all these people is sellouts because they're moors type shit that just don't make sense right i i personally believe that the european moors that was that was um potentially ruling in and in europe they came from africa that's what i believe because i don't know where else they get lions and shit for their coat of arms outside of africa the middle east africa and shit so to me that tells me that whoever was melanated and running things in the in the european areas uh, they most likely had closer ties to Africa than we did, or Americans. So mm, it could it could be a shit show. It can be confusing, kind of. Hey, I'm talking about I'm talking about truer words that have never been spoken. Because uh, these people literally want to act like. Like you know, if, if, if you know, if we could just put a stamp on people and be like, "Oh yeah, we already know how he operates. He's NOI. You know, oh, he's Nuwapian. You know what he'll do to you. Oh, oh my gosh, he's a Moor. Yeah, you know he'll sell you out. Um, oh, you know he, he's an Indian. You know he'll uh he'll scalp you. You know, some crazy shit like that. You know what I mean? Like real stereotypes, you know, based off of the first word. That's like ignorant as hell. Like, like we done became what we hate. We done became that Caucasian. You know what I'm saying? It's like, with, <laughs> like the movie Robin Hood with uh Martin or whatever. How people like to point out how the cracker said the word more. Called Martin, you you more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like he, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. <laughs> And these niggas ain't no different. They they the same way with the word like, oh you're more like it's the same energy. It's like yo, you know what I mean? Like what in the hell? You feel me? Like they really hate a group of people that quick, and they don't understand. It's really Mariscos. If you hear somebody ever brag about, you don't never hear nobody about brag about being Mariscos. Mariscos are the ones who stayed in Europe when they kicked all of us out. The, uh, any real more left that piece of shit. The the sellout stayed. They call Mariscos. Mm. I bet you won't go find a Morisco to talk that shit to you. Wasting your time talking to Moors. We got kicked out if we was in Europe. Since everybody don't act like we only from Europe. You're more. Oh, you're from Europe. Take your ass back to Europe. <laughs> Ignorant. <laughs> and that movie that you mentioned, Black Knight. You know, you know, when we do see any illustrations of people of color with the suit of arms or the the knight, the knight, what they call it, the suit, the knight suit, whatever, they are they are Moors. But when when in that scene, uh, Martin Lawrence was just a black man. He didn't have any other indication that he was a Moor other than his skin tone. So it came right. off like he was like, you nigga, for real, type shit. Exactly. You know, that, that's how I got it. You feel me? Like, damn. Because he looked, you know what I mean? Martin was, he was funny back then before he went crazy. Exactly. <laughs> so, matter, matter of fact, what was the name of that movie again? The, uh, the Black Knight. Oh. With a K. Yeah. So they was telling us about Robin Hood and didn't want to tell us about Robin Hood. Well, yeah. you know what? And I remember Robin Hood. And you know what? Dave Chappelle played the part of the Moor in Robin Hood Men in Tights. What? Which, which I was more familiar with than the Robin Robin Hood uh, with Kevin Costner in which Morgan Freeman played the Moor. And it's interesting. His name is Morgan Freeman. Exactly. You know they know what they're doing. You know this man. That's wild, yo. And he's a Moor, and and guess what? The Moors always, the to me, the Moors play the the Asian man. What would now be the Asian man, or something to that effect. The Moor was the wise man, right? And 
you know, that type of shit. They it is civilized, they come with a religious, a strict you know, that type of effect. And um, when they're not using a more uh, imagery, then they're using an the oriental, most likely, to me. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'm trying to see what they meant by the two, three, and everything. They wild with this. And like you say, they go to, uh, you know, the, uh, what is it, that body armor. Uh -huh. I see he got the helmet in his arm and his hands and all that. And that's why I be trying to tell people, like, when we say Canaanites, even if people don't, don't know that Canaanite means, like, a metal smith. So, mm. so we know advanced, or uh, alchemy is advanced metallurgy. You feel me? So we are the alchemists, is what we're saying when you're saying a Canaanite, because we're dealing in the metals to that degree, right? And to that level that, yeah, we the ones first had swords. We weren't just throwing rocks. Mm -hmm. We the ones first had body armor. You know what I'm saying? We weren't just, you know what I'm saying, standing behind trees. You feel me? Like, we did all of that. That's why they know the first true representation of that knight in shining armor would have had been a war. Because uh, I believe it's St. Maurice. Mm -hmm. You know, the moor. Right. Which is also where they trying to show where this black knight comes from. And uh he got a green shirt on, which mm -hmm. could mean heart chakra earth concept. And I think the black knight mm -hmm. or nagas or nagas and everything else. Fuck. I think it's racist as fuck to say black knight the way they did. They exactly because if one they you even know. called him a Moor in the movie, but they had the audacity to call Moors black. Yeah, right. Isn't that something? They mm -hmm. didn't say more night. Hey, bro, who the only threat right here in the building? Everybody got a sword. What does that mean? Who's the only threat right there in the building right now? The one prepared for battle with armor. Armor. <laughs> like. Whatever he coming in here talking about is whatever he say goes. Right. He coming to lay down the treaty, sign this paper, or or, or die. I'm and prepared. White to, gloves. I'm, hey, I'm prepared to kill everybody in this motherfucker. That's what it look like he's saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He and like I, real talk. And I think that's what I think. Kind of that's what the relationship outlook was with melanated yeah. people and 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 pale people that they was grown, groomed, and given. And the, the, the melanated people was just an ancient, more ancient people. And so the, the nouveau concepts that the pale people brought forth, how that, how that collided, I don't know. It's, it, it, can, it's a, it makes for an interesting study, but it's definitely diluted with the information we got to go off with a lot of times because we don't see like i may got one picture of a group of knights and i got a picture of and i mean they melanated people and i got another picture of a group of melanated knights with um battling mongolians and they was all wearing the same thing and so in my studies i found that the saracens or the muslim warrior class their armor and their weapons, it was exactly what the same thing that the Mongolians had. So, I mean, I, I go back to Duke of Tears. I know he said that Genghis Khan was a melanated man. There may be one picture of that, but I think that that's not it, neither here or there. It's like, how would you go from a person with this type of prestige that we see what you're showing right now? How can that be something of a fluke? That's so much detail. You know how much time it might have took for someone to illustrate that right there? And then the most, and I'm gonna be done, the most, the most, to me, the most elaborate image of a black person in and in, in, in regalia and night 
is called uh, Unknown King. And he's surrounded with white people. But it's the picture is so, so good looking that you would think that, well, if he meant nothing, they wouldn't even made a picture, let alone put all that effort in it. But when it came to how we see it now, if we was to look it up, we, we'd be like, uh, who is that? I don't know. It's an unknown king. Now they don't know who the fuck he is. And it'd be that type of shit that be like, see, this is how they erase and they lie about history. Because how are you going to have all that, but it's an unknown king? That shit crazy, man. That's real. Hey, hey, bro, when you look at my boy right here, he really on some gangster shit. He really say, fuck it, mask off. You know what I'm saying? Because you know he got the shield. He can cover the face up, too. You know what I'm saying? Right now, my boy on that future, he say, fuck it, mask off. Man, you know and you mean? know what? People, people of color in America wore hats like that in the 70s. They wore their hats like that. On the on the afro on the side, just like that, you know, and that was a style, right? I don't know if it's zoot suit or uh, uh, huggy bear from goddamn don't uh, I'm gonna get you sucker. Regardless, them big ass hats, and then the tilt to them is something that you find in American yep. culture, and they don't even have no education about the type of shit. <laughs> hey, real talk. It's like the brother was making sure that they don't fuck their hairline up. You know what I'm saying? They're like, man, I ain't gonna wear that bitch all on my head. That's gonna fuck my hairline up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tilt this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never, I never gotta have a have a receding hairline because people wear them hats all tucked on their head. Either it's already gone or it's gonna be gone. You know what I'm saying? Because the number one thing about everything, it has to breathe. You got to let the hair breathe. You know? Yeah. And and they made more, Martin Lawrence in that picture of Black Knight, the movie. He had on a blue hat, and it was tight on his head and turned backwards, by the way. Which is contrast to what we're looking at here. It made him look all goofy and shit. You know, he played that goofy, clumsy. They laughing at him and shit. Don't know how to ride a horse. Uh, 23. What's that? That's five. That's the five-point star. So the green that you see in the Moore flag is a, is a green five-point star, isn't it? Wow. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Cause I was just thinking as soon as you said five, I'm like, damn, that's five point of star. That ain't that ain't that uh Hebrew that Jewish shit. That's that that's that Moorish for real. Hey, but yeah, the sister was saying that uh you know she said if the American Moors or Masons were so great, why is everything so secret? They should be gathering their people. But you have to really be initiated, questionable to me. See, everything is being infiltrated. So these same Freemasons have done this in every city. It ain't just my city that they're trying to take over. The other city they took over already. They already been infiltrated, you know. So I understand that it's flow. You know what I mean? In in so many places, I didn't I didn't had a had people tell me grand sheets. Oh, you can't. What what make you think you're a moor? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the hell? I think shit. I'm a moor by birth, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He talking about. Mm -hmm. No, you can't be a moor un un unless you go through the temple. This and that. I'm like, I say, yeah, all right. He said, yeah, and that's in Chicago and all this and that. This and that. I said, okay, and well, where you at? Well, we located in Georgia. I said, mm -hmm. well, ain't no temples down here, man. So I ain't. I'm a more regardless man, and I done did my, you know, I did my nationality, and 
as far as putting the government on notice. I ain't got to put y'all on notice. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, he uh he like yeah, you can't be a moor unless you uh come through the temple, or whatever. But uh, you can go online to my website and for uh fifty nine ninety nine a month or whatever, mm-hmm. you can become a moor. I'm like man, get the man, fuck you, bitch. Man, you, know you can be more through him. What fuck you right. mean? You know what I'm saying? So if that's temple, what you mean, man. goddess Aboriginal. Then I ain't with that sucker shit. They don't. I don't. I don't see. I don't see them. Playing and, and that's that's a great question because you know really it kind of brings a verbal con uh what is a conundrum or a quagmire or some dumb shit where it's like if people if 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 the people was to gather their people they would at least be seen by the outsiders as black people right it's it's the infighting on what is black what isn't black or what is a more what's not a more that type of shit needs to be ironed out and if it ever is the outsiders would see it as black people in general people of color in general uniting and it seemed like they got a couple of factions trying to do this in their own way maybe for money though because the masons they all about that bread you hear me (laughs) they all about that bread and so one more thing about her comment is that one of my plight or uh, one of my gripes with the whole concept is the Scottish rights because a person can be a Prince Hall, right? Which was, I guess, created for people of color in America, but Africans don't have no Prince Hall, do they? And, and if a person in the Prince Hall reached the type level, they got to go through Scottish rights to be valid, but ain't, but when you go look over at Scotland, them motherfuckers don't look like nobody over here today. And they definitely don't, to my understanding, they don't give any reverence to people of color that used to be there that might have started that shit. I think that's when they talk about Knight Templars and they become a white thing. So, uh, you know, I asked a Mason. I asked a Mason. He was an older gentleman. and. um I said, what, you being a Mason, what what do you what would you say is the chances that people of color in America that's under the Mason Freemason banner would be able to break off into their own thing outside of Scottish rights? Would they ever be able to break free from that Scottish right link? He said, no, never. Quicker than lightning. And it, and he, I think he was an ex Mason. I think he told me that he wasn't none no more. So when he said no, never, it was condescending to the whole thing itself. Him being now on the outside of that, you know what I mean? And I don't see nothing Scotland did for any of us. You know? Uh, yeah. What? What? Uh, Seamounts? <laughs> 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 hey, real talk though, right? Uh, when I kind of look at, you know, the fact that he had that jersey on the whole time, you know, what it symb- what it what it symbolizes is the fact that it's like a football player with all his pads on, how large and in charge a person would look. That's how he truly looked with that armor on. Wow. You feel me? Like it wasn't nobody coming through more, you know what I'm saying, more to be reckoned with. Like that was like futuristic. Because we don't, you know, nowadays you got to see like a real robot. RoboCop, only RoboCop is coming like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So to have been doing that millennia ago, I mean, that's, man, that'd have been scary, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they, he, wow. That's awesome how you link the football pads and shit. He got the football helmet in his arm, and that's, Pretty much, and I hate to say it, but it's true. That's pretty much one of the biggest spells amongst people in this country is their reverence to these things that are total psyops, that are totally disrespectful. And it looks like that's what they're doing here. You right, bro. It looked like he the whole football thing is is been uh the football is a deduction to a to a greatness. Right. And looking at this picture here, you see the redhead woman. You see the the mulatto woman, 
who's the love interest. And then you see how everybody else is just white people. That's crazy, man. I hate sports, by the way. That's probably why. You feel me? I, I think it's one of the most racist shits in this world. At least sports in America, right? Hey, hey going, going, going against the Moors is, hey, man, hey, it's got to be like we got a cheat code, man. I wouldn't want to go against the Moors unless I was on Moor. I wouldn't, nah, not unless I'm with the Moors. Matter of fact, I got to have Moors on my team. Because it's gonna be like you versus all of them, you in trouble, bro. You know what I mean? That's heavy. That's heavy, yo. So, uh, <laughs> oh man, and it had to do with time travel and shit in this movie. He fell into a body of water, and he. <laughs> And he rose up out of that water into another time and space. He wasn't even in California or wherever the fuck he was at. He was all the way in somewhere else. Yep. yep. And so that concept deals with, um, well, I can see, I remember seeing that in a, in a Japanese or Chinese movie where a dude sent a message to another realm like a spirit realm message. He put it, he wrote it, and then he put it in the water. And then as it sunk beneath the surface, it rose up on the surface of the water in another realm. And somebody got the message and took it. So him going into, you know, the water being a portal is more described in Asiatic concepts when they dealing with the water demon uh with the lady that come out the tv all wet right with the, the the kappa demon and this woman with the black hair and white dress like that concept is is dealing with the spirituality or the the the, the connectivity to the nether realm through water and water as a portal and so they kind of slid that in there with him falling in water and he's teleported to another time and space. Like what the fuck? So that's wild. Hey, and you just spoke on how the, you know, St. Maurice had his, had his hat. You feel me? And then, and then Martin, he ain't got it cocked at this moment, but he still, he still got it, you know, posted. Him in. And I don't remember him having glasses at all in this movie. Exactly. No scene. And none of the scenes. Right. So that means those lenses represent the arconic eyes, the big <coughs> eyes of the grays. That's what I would say that means. You know what I mean? That they put some type of arconic spin in it because the only thing that would link in my lane of interpretation the only thing that would link him having big black eyes like that is the concept of the water demon that's issued from asia and we've seen this in many a movie wherever there's a demon or a woman or michael myers or what what jason he was at the bottom of the lake and shit and they come out with the white mask and it's the same thing. It's the same thing with that, whatever that spirit, that La La Rona concept is. It's, See, it's like there's probably no Asian in this movie, but they don't do nothing by themselves. They ain't got shit. Like when a person in your chat say that um, they replay, Hollywood replay almost every occult thing God is Aboriginal said. That's fact. Yep. That's facts. And that's that's what got me in Asian bushes, because years ago I found out trying to decode Hollywood shit that Hollywood was getting their premise for their movies from Asia, from the Orient. Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, um, Jason, all this shit we thought was like original American horror is really come from the occult lane that actually 
connects it all the way over to the reason why the dragon societies in in the Orient are the king to whoever else is in the society, whether they're African, American, or European. They seem to have been subject to the Archons. Have, like the people who rep the Archons the hardest is them Japanese and Chinese meatballs. Hey, hey, brother, right? We were just looking at the Black Knight, mm -hmm. and they had, you know, some kind of white princess in the background. And her being redhead, I'm like, oh, yeah, she represented Queen Charlotte. That's who this is right here. This image is Queen Charlotte. Queen Charlotte is the first mulatto to sit on the throne. Oh. You know, so it was nothing but Moors prior to. That's why when you look at the family crest, anybody look up their last name, they're going to find the family crest. And if you the further back you go, it's dark skinned individuals on those crests. Then after a certain point, no more dark skins. Uh, and that's because of Queen Charlotte, the first mulatto to sit on the throne. This is when the Moors lost their power, mm. right? In Europe. Mm -hmm. And like I say, that's that's her right over here once again. Hold that on. redhead concept come from China. The to the two Charian are redheaded white people that descended from the steppes of Asia. These yeah. are your Scythians. And so their bloodline uh, coming from their side of things is the royalty. That's that's what they consider royalty. And sometimes I think that they could have they could it could have been a trend or a fad to paint these misrepresentations of people painting black people white. But I have no real evidence for that outside of what they got going on. But yeah, when you when we trace that red head, that's when we that's me trying to find out where uh where these people come from. Oh, she looked pretty there. She definitely looked hey, like uh, a person. Bro, I just realized I gotta do part four of my blacks who pass for white series, right? Mm. And it's gonna feature Queen Charlotte. You know what I mean? I had to give them the full breakdown. Cause this this is what happens, man. You know what I'm saying? Like we can't play like this. You feel me? We can't play like this. And when we do, like, look at the children. They could be cute as in all all our doors, but that should have been come. That cuteness should have came from them. It shouldn't have been coming out of you. She you know looked like Solange, Beyonce's exactly. sister. Exactly. So that means the next step, her children could look like, you know. I mean, uh, what, what's their name? The, the two brothers that been boxing or whatever, <laughs> doing all them shows. The one that fought Mayweather recently. Oh my goodness, I can't stand them motherfuckers. Yeah, man. Hey, that's who the son looked like right here. You know, like you know, the the son shouldn't have to look like, you know, uh, a young Trump and Ivana. You feel me? When it came from a mulatto. Or any kind of a more. So see this. So she a mulatto. She yeah. like she had kids with a white man. Exactly. So they was like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Until that shit, because all right, now no blacks allowed. Like what? Wait a minute. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No moors. Get your asses around him. You know what I'm saying? And I hate Mayweather for not knocking that boy down when he could have. Yeah, when he when he grabbed him and saved his life, he saved his life, bro. I hated Mayweather for that. I did already. Oh, what's the like name though? I was trying to think of his name. Um, uh, the, something. It ain't the Dudley brothers. I mean, I'm tripping. They they you they Instagram famous. Instagram famous. They fuck with Joe Rogan and, yeah. and Mike Tyson and shit. Yeah. Um. They the worst thing that happened to boxing. <laughs> They, 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 you know, they, they have that crowd that just, 
it, it sucks. It don't make no sense. I can't believe anybody paying for it. I so. think, and this is just me, but I think that the 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 fantasy of white supremacy lives in them, where they don't have to say nothing racist, but they represent. Oh, uh, the the great white hope and shit, right? Like he thought that because he tall and white on his uh Neanderthal shit that he was just gonna fuck Mayweather up. Yeah, yeah, it, you know, it's just like how sometimes you'll see a, a YouTuber challenge a real MMA person or something, you know, and they'll come to the gym and meet up and get beat up. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's their way of saying, I don't think that shit real, man. You feel me? It's just like when people from the streets get a chance to get in that ball is life or the big three or something, and they get to go against a real NBA player and get schooled up for real. They'd be like, damn, them niggas really is NBA players. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's that's what you call generational wealth and white privilege mixed together. Because these kids, first of all, how in the fuck you make a living on you t- TikTok? You just a nobody. You just they just rich kids that they could pay for gym time, pay for trainers, pay. You know they got fam, they got generational wealth, they got millions without working, doing dumb shit, pranks, and little goofy ass shit for real to get a little name and shit. And they just fucking around like, you know, we want to do some black people shit, you know. That's how they thinking probably. I want to take out one of your black kings and shit, even though Mayweather ain't shit. Yeah, hey, bro, I, hey, I literally had to look it up. Money, this, man. My bad, I had to look it up, though. It, it's the Paul brothers, Logan Paul and um, mm-hmm. Jake Paul. Mm-hmm. That's them. Yeah, it was Logan Paul. Man, come on, man. That's... That's who that's who little homie right here look like. You gonna make the next <laughs> you gonna make the next Logan Paul if you ain't careful, man. Come on, man. This is what they talking about. They think the women's so fine, but what about your little Logan Paul? You know, hey, like, check on, out man. check out check out Logan Paul when he not beat up. And then look at his face when he um, took a couple of hits, and I was like, he got a whole nother face, yo. His shit all dented in. Man, he like man, shit bro, even more. Bro, once again, I remember the other night you were talking about this. Once again, look how beards save men. Look how beards be saving these dudes, bro. Hmm? Like he had yeah. to learn some 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 martial arts or something to save himself because anybody gonna slap this. Taste out his mouth. Tell me, you think Chris Rock got slapped? Come on, and, and he ain't gonna walk around with that booty face and think ain't think somebody see him. Nobody don't see you. You feel me? Yeah, yo, he definitely some California rich kid on that bullshit. We got goofy. Look at him, goofy as fuck. Yeah, man. Let me see if I can find a kid picture. That'd be funny. Cause I, I bet it looked just like the little homie I just showed y'all. They don't, they don't, they grew up. They don't, they don't know no type of spirituality. Don't know history. They opinion everything. Yep. Everything's an opinion. I don't. Yeah, I hate Joe Rogan too, man. Like, uh, I don't really like to see some. Did I lie? Things. Did I lie? You gonna have? Wow. You gonna have the next goddamn. Uh, Logan Paul playing around Charlotte, damn Queen Charlotte, you Piolas. That was the name of the uh, the one from a certain movie, but even in the civil rights, during the civil rights movement, they called women who you know, uh, wanted to be white, they could pass for white, they wanted to be white. They call them Piolas, it's like oh. it's the way to call a woman a coon. You ain't call them coons, oh. you call them piolas. She's a piola. Uh so we got yeah, that look that look just like this guy. Right? Look, yeah. Queen Charlotte. Queen Queen Charlotte. That, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. They say y'all don't yeah. see that too fast. They hate, but they see it over here though. Huh? They see little <laughs> Logan. They see little Logan, and he got a hey. Come on, man. He got a little dress on. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get on that. They they drip back then. They really had that <laughs> the worst drip. The worst drip. <laughs> they had the worst drip, <laughs> yeah. and and that's what we gotta realize. Like it's just like saying I would not dress like my daddy them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If anything, they got even they got enough sense to dress like we do. You feel me? Because god dang it, they was wearing little short shorts that like they were showing their thighs, man. Like we don't even yeah. show our knee, we don't show our knees talking about showing our our thighs. Nah, man. No, nah, my, my pockets yeah. cannot be hanging out my shorts though. I just learned the other day how the Spartans uh Showing their thighs was a was a sign of manlyhood, and if that and if a man wore pants, he was seen as feminine. So that's that's what I heard back in them days of uh, fake yeah, sparks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like they kind of done switched it around on us, but I don't give a damn. And then I'm just saying, like. I don't even want to give them the credit, like, oh yeah, white white man invented pants. He ain't invent no damn pants. No, uh, of course. You know not. what I'm saying? And like time changed, man. We ain't we ain't going back to no skirts, man. If we go, hey, man, they know if anything, we'll have for one, a man ain't even gonna have a towel on around another man. So it just ain't work. It ain't gonna work. Ain't nothing gonna work. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing it. We ain't That's going back to them days. That's to me. That's part of the deception because if if we if they knew that pants was worn, then it would be harder to believe that when they came to the Americas the first time, people ain't have no pants. They just had grass skirts and shit. I don't believe that shit. Yeah, me personally, I don't believe that shit. Like, shit, it's 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 cold and it rains and. Fuck you want to be naked for mosquitoes in Florida. I grew up in Florida, man, and shit. You ain't walking around in, you feel me? Like when mosquitoes got there, because if they was already there, then these images of a Aboriginal Americans, that shit ain't real. They want to show it like the European had pants and shirts and shit, but nobody else. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't know. I don't, like. I really don't even. I don't know how long mosquitoes been around. I guess they might have been. They, you know, I know. I know the white man gonna say they've been around, but they might have brought them mother suckers with them, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah, but mosquitoes is a real problem in Florida, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's a real problem. Like, yeah, I, like I don't know if you ever heard of a love bug. You ever heard of love bugs? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, like you'll probably see it on the front of a lot of semi trucks. <laughs> they be smashing groups of them. Hell yeah. There was more back in the day when I was younger. They used to have hey. nets on the front of the car. Bro, you won't even. Them out. Let me see if I can pull it up too while I'm saying it. But you, I, I, I don't know if people are familiar with really where love bugs come from. I have no idea. You do, you know? Like, yeah, man, bro, love bugs. Was made. Oh, they already saying it right here. University of Florida. It was made in the University of Florida. They made love bugs to try to. Uh, they made them to kill mosquitoes. They were supposed to attach and latch on the mosquitoes and get mosquitoes up out of here. But they found each other more attractive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They like, damn, she fine, you know, because you'll find love bugs stuck together and they'll be right. flying around too. They'll be, they'll be stuck to the butt or whatever, you know, they privates or whatever. They, right. they'll fly around backwards, both of them. Like, he'll be like, no, go this way. She's like, no, this way, you know. What I mean, they just be, they be lost, you feel me? But they say they was created for mosquitoes and uh, obviously it backfired because they ain't killed one mosquito yet. Right. Yeah, and sometimes nineteen fifties. And, and, and I'm you know, I'm in I'm in Baltimore now and they said that uh when I first got here, man, 
that first summer, it was like I was being hit up by invisible goddamn ghosts. You know? You'll never see them. You don't hear them. These are Japanese mosquitoes. They black and white. They got white stripes and they black. Those motherfuckers, and they hurt. They, you know what I feel me? I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Whole time, I had to real life study to catch one of these motherfuckers. They so thin and small, it's like you don't see them. Now they say yeah. a Japanese spider about to come over. And I don't know what Japan doing sending their bugs over here. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, there they go. Harmless. Hey. Yeah, man. Damn love bug, man. That's what they got the audacity to call them, I guess. You know, because they that's all they worried about. They ain't worried about nothing else. They trying to get up with mama. You know what I mean? Man. Yeah, that's a crazy what in the world is that. That's a hell of a one now. Man, they make they create these suckers, man. Ain't like you know, look at that. Like what I was just saying about like you know, how them send my trucks. How man, you ride around. Yeah, it'd be a whole nest of them bitches. They worse than gnats, man. They worse than gnats. You never see that many gnats on a person car, even though you wish somebody could go fry them gnats when somebody cut that grass and then be a uh, ten thousand mm -hmm. gnats over there. You'd be like, I am not walking over. You have to put your whole shirt over your face just before COVID. Right. That was the first COVID. It was gnats. You know what I mean? Nobody wanted to breathe a gnat in. <laughs> this is why I think that you see pictures of people painting their skin. A lot of times, especially with the Maya, they got white men who painted their skin red and that deceived people who think that these people was red skin, even white, even black skin because they was using black paint i think that it was putting that paint on their bodies as a as an insect repellent because i don't know how they living in that motherfucker to this day in amazon and they ain't got no clothes on bitch what is wrong with y'all they sold one with the goddamn bug world for real you got that entomologist Huh. Yeah, yeah. Red and black. Yo, listen, I, I I think that I think that they did make the insects. Or some of them. Some of them. I think they did. No problem. Yeah, you know, it's just like with fruits and veggies, you know, man created mostly all hybrids. So that's what they, you know, did. They created some hybrid. You know, they done put some bugs together. Like one that probably used to try to chase down mosquitoes, they gave him some wings. Like all he needed some wings, he can he can get the mosquitoes. You know, you know. So they mixed them with a fly, and it just ain't it ain't work out right. You know, you're a freaky bug. That's all he is. Like, they call him a love bug, but it's should be called a freaky bug. And they get this annoying WTV nine down. <clears throat> Yo, Goddess Aboriginal said, "Why make things?" <clears throat> why is everything secret earlier right and thinking about these bugs and how they could have been made but how we don't know no difference if unless we speculate like that is one of my main beefs with secret societies is the fact that they secret in the in the in the in the privatization of occult science and occult mean hidden like why are people hiding shit And they, they got a monopoly on it now. So back in the days, the people, the people, people probably all knew everything that they call a cult now or hidden. Now they call it hidden. And shit. Yeah, that's real. yeah, that's real. Like every year, something that we are familiar with will become a cult mm. every year. You know, it's saying that they put it in a vault. You know, it's it's in, it's locked away in time. You feel me? 
and we're not worthy. That all of that, you feel me? Well, I'm gonna tell you how I feel like we could we could counter block, counter, and attack that, and that's awareness, and that's why it's shout outs to you, shout out to shout out the people who putting things out there the bro you had other earlier uh, dj bless one and everybody else like the effort it, it you know people i think sometimes get lost in what the effort is about i wouldn't know because it just so happened that my lane has been asiatic oriented early in my searchings and um man I don't know. I don't know who else to give thanks to, but the creator for that, because I was unaware and I, I forgot exactly what it was that made me get in their bushes early on. And I didn't discover so many other things in the meanwhile, and it just get reinforced about what they're doing today, right today, just today, I was looking up somebody and I came across I came across a mother, a Japanese cartoon. Put you know what? Can you look it up while you're there? Look up. Hold on, man. I just want to show you what I seen within a couple of hours ago. And see if we could tie this into what we're talking about right now. Okay. Um Hold on one second. 